in this video I am going to show you how to buy domain and hosting from Namecheap and then install WordPress. So let's get started. So we are going to do this video in two simple steps. In the first step we are going to purchase domain and hosting from Namecheap and in the second step we are going to set up WordPress on it. So let's get started. So to get started just click on the link available in the description and this will take you to the Namecheap. From Namecheap just hover over hosting and then click on shared hosting. You can go for WordPress hosting as well but I think shared hosting is the best option for you. There are three shared hosting packages available. The first one is Stellar. If you go for a yearly plan it will cost you around 2.18 per month and if you go for two years plan it will cost you around 1.88 per month and if you go for monthly plan it will cost you 4.48 per month from here i am going to select two years plan and it will cost me around 1.88 per month so it will provide you a free domain name like dot fund dot host dot online dot tech dot agency etc but if you want a dot com domain then you will have to buy it also you can host three websites on it it will provide you 20 gb of ssd space and also it will provide you 30 domain based mailboxes so these are the features that this stellar plan will offer you but if this package does not meet your requirements then you can go for stellar plus as well so according to my requirements stellar is best for me so i will go with this one and after some months or years when I need it then I can easily upgrade it. So I will go with this one Stellar as it is best according to my requirements and we can upgrade it later as well. So I will click on get started button. And now we are going to choose domain name for our hosting. So if you have existing domain name that you have purchased from anywhere else then you can select existing domain name. And if you want to purchase a new domain name then you can go for new domain name option. So I will select this one first one and now I am going to search for my domain name. As you can see that the domain name that I have searched for is available and also this domain name is free for the first year. Domain extensions like .agency, .fund, .host are free for the first year when you purchase them with the web hosting. While on the other hand domain extensions like .com, .net will cost you around 8 to 10 dollars. So my domain name is available and free as well. So I will go with this domain name. Once you select your domain name just click on connect to hosting. In this way your domain name will be connected to your web hosting. Now click on add to cart button. And in this way your domain name will also be added to your cart. Our domain name will be registered for one year by default but you can register it for two years, three years or for five years as well. After everything is set up just click on confirm order and this will take you to the new step. If you have already an account with Namecheap then you can log into your account and if you do not have an account with Namecheap then you can create a new account. So it is very easy to create an account with Namecheap. Here you need to enter your username your password again you need to put your password again here you need to enter your first name last name and email address and then click on create account and continue but if you already have an account with Namecheap then you can sign in as I already have an account with Namecheap so I am going to log into my account so I will enter my username and password and then I will click on sign in and continue so now here you need to enter your account contact information. So if you are not registering yourself on behalf of a company then you can uncheck this checkbox. So here you need to enter your first name, last name, your address, country, city, zip code etc. So now I am going to enter my details and I will see you in the next step. So from here we are going to scroll down and then click on continue button. So this is the last step for our order and now we need to make payment for our order. There are different payment methods available like you can pay with your credit card, 
you can pay with your PayPal account or you can pay with your account funds which are available in your Namecheap account. But from here I am going to select PayPal and I am going to click on continue button. Here it is going to show us our order review like all the items that we are going to purchase from Namecheap. From here scroll down and accept terms and conditions of Namecheap and then click on check out with PayPal. And in this way you will be redirected to your PayPal account and from there you can easily make payments. Once your payment is completed you will be redirected to your Namecheap account and it will start processing your order. After that it will show you a purchase summary and also you can easily download your purchase receipt. So now we are going to check our domain name whether it's working or not. So I am going to visit my domain name and as you can see that currently our domain name is not working. So what we are going to do is that from the top we are going to click on our username and from the drop down we are going to select dashboard. From here we are going to click on domain list button and it will show us the domain that we have just purchased. Next to your domain name just click on the manage button and it will show us all the domain settings. So by default it is set to Namecheap basic DNS but we will have to change it to Namecheap web hosting DNS. When we will change it to Namecheap web hosting DNS our domain will be connected to our hosting and it will start working. So as you can see that our domain is now ready. So now we are going to install WordPress on our Namecheap hosting and domain. So let's get started. So we will go back to our Namecheap account again. And from here we are going to click on hosting list. Next to our hosting we will see a go to cPanel button. We will click on it and we will be redirected to our cPanel account. Now we can install WordPress using two methods. We can select this soft techless apps installer and then select WordPress from there or we can select WordPress directly from here. So I will click on WordPress directly from here. And now we are in the WordPress installer. So I will click on install button. So if you have the SSL certificate then you can select HTTPS or if you do not have the SSL certificate then you can go with the HTTP. So I will select HTTPS as I have the SSL certificate. If you have multiple domains then you can select the domain from your drop down as I have only one domain so it is already selected. So now if you want to install WordPress directory on your domain then you can leave this as blank and or if you want to install WordPress on in the subfolder like slash blog then you can put it here like blog. I want to install it directly on my domain so I will remove it from here. Now from here you can select the WordPress version. I will go with the latest one which is 6.0.2 so now our software setup is done and now we are going towards sites from the site name you can give it a name just like my blog or my first website I will leave it as it is because we can change it directly from our WordPress dashboard and from here you can change the WordPress description as well so I will also leave it as it is because I can easily change it from the WordPress dashboard so now we are going to set up admin account for our website and later on we will use this admin account to log into our website. At first we are going to set up our admin username and then we are going to set up our admin password and then we are going to add our admin email. This email will be added to our website and all the notifications about the website will be received on this email. You can select your language from here. By default it is selected to English. You can choose your own language according to your own choice. Next is select plugins section. From here you can select and install plugins like uh, limit login attempts or W3 cache. So we can easily install these plugins from our WordPress dashboard. So I am not going to install these plugins from here. So I will deselect them. So next is our theme section. You can easily install theme from here or you can also install it from the WordPress dashboard. 
so if you want to install anything just click on it and it will be selected and installed on your wordpress website so as we do not need this theme now because we will upload our own custom theme from the wordpress dashboard so i will leave it as it is so one more step is email installation details too from here you need to insert your email and all the wordpress installation details will be sent to your email so i will add my email here and then i will click on install button as you can see that wordpress is now installed on our namecheap domain and hosting so now in order to access our wordpress website we can use this first link so this is the website we have set up on our namecheap hosting and domain and now if you want to access the wordpress dashboard then you can go with the second link so i will click on this and now we are in the wordpress dashboard and from here we can do all the settings like we can visit our website we can add a new plugin or we can install new themes etc basically you can do all the wordpress settings from here you can add a new theme you can select and install any theme from the wordpress library or you can upload your custom theme from your computer so if you want to upload your custom theme from your computer just click on upload theme button and then click on choose file and you can choose your theme file from your computer so i will close it and from here you can install plugins on your wordpress website you can install them directly from here and if you want to upload your custom plugin then you can click on upload plugin button and then click on choose file and you can select any plugin from your computer that you have downloaded and install it on your website so this is how you can buy domain and hosting from namecheap and install wordpress thank you so much for watching the video tutorial please like the video and subscribe to my channel